A new CBS poll found that vaccine hesitancy is actually the highest among Republican men, and more than a third of Republicans are refusing to take the COVID vaccines. Now, this isn't necessarily too surprising because this is a political party that just outright denies science. And the only time they even say the word science is when they're trying to uh, deny equal rights to transgender Americans. So this isn't necessarily surprising news. And especially when you consider the way that Republican lawmakers have never taken the pandemic seriously. And currently they're not actually getting the vaccine and they're not promoting the vaccines themselves. I mean, obviously this is what's going to happen. Their values will be reflected in their base. But to make matters worse, the most popular cable news pundit is now deciding to use his platform to spread vaccine skepticism to his millions of viewers. Take a look. So all of this should prompt some pretty tough questions for our public health experts in this country. And one of those questions is, how effective is this coronavirus vaccine? How necessary is it to take the vaccine? Don't dismiss those questions from anti-vaxxers. Don't kick people off social media for asking them. Answer the questions, especially now. The administration would like you to take this vaccine. Joe Biden told you last week, if you don't, you can't celebrate the 4th of July. But it turns out there are things we don't know about the effects of this vaccine. And all vaccines, by the way, it's always a trade-off. He literally asked, on national television, how effective is this coronavirus vaccine and how necessary is it to take this vaccine? If only there was some way of finding out this information that is seemingly nowhere. I mean, there's no way he's serious. He knows all of this information, but in case he's genuinely puzzled, there's this thing known as the internet where you can easily look up this information and find the answers to all of your questions in a couple of minutes. Hey, I'll Google it for you. So how effective is the, uh, here we go, we have autofill, we'll do Moderna's vaccine. Turns out it is 80.2% effective after a single dose and you'll be 95% protected after you get your second shot. Okay, now let's look up the Pfizer vaccine. Uh, turns out it's 46% effective 14 to 20 days after the first dose and 92% effective seven days after the second dose. As for the uh, Johnson & Johnson vaccine, it is 66% effective at preventing moderate to severe COVID and 100% effective in preventing COVID-related hospitalization and death. So I think this answers the question as to whether or not you should take it, but let's ask anyway. COVID vaccines are safe and effective, and uh, it looks like you should definitely get it as soon as you are eligible. And that's it. I just did the work. One person within a couple of minutes did the work that Tucker Carlson and his entire team apparently couldn't figure out how to do. But this is not him just being ignorant. He is very clearly trying to uh, drive skepticism about the vaccines, vaccines that we actually need people to take if we want to end the pandemic. Because if there is a large portion of the American population that does not take the vaccine, then the virus will continue to spread, which increases the potential for mutations that are resistant to the vaccines. So this isn't just like, hey, I'm going to make this individual choice. Conservatives keep saying, oh, well, you know what? It's my choice if I choose to not wear a mask. Liberty, freedom, except that's not actually you exercising your own liberty and freedom. You're impeding on the freedom of others to not be infected by the germs that you're spreading because you refuse to wear a mask because you think that that impedes on your liberty and freedom. Tucker Carlson is very much aware of all of this but he's being purposefully obtuse because he wants his viewers to fear the vaccine. And I, I mean, I don't even know what the reason is for this. I don't know if he'd be saying this if Trump were still president because Trump could then get credit for getting people vaccinated. But I mean, what, what's, what's the end goal here? I don't know what his end goal is. I don't know why he's trying to foster skepticism and fear-mongering over the COVID vaccines, which are safe and effective. But what I do know is going to happen is that if his viewers actually believe his lies and do fear the COVID vaccine, they could die. Like, does he actually want his viewers to die? I mean, how irresponsible are you to so doubt about the efficacy and safety of these vaccines that are life-saving? 
you have to be a terrible human being to do something like that. And also, he loves to play loose with the facts. Uh, he says that Joe Biden told you that if you don't take the vaccine, uh, you can't celebrate the 4th of July. Really? Is that what Joe Biden said? That's not what Joe Biden said. I don't like Joe Biden, but what you're doing is lying. Most people who are Republicans are probably not even going to pay attention to any of the CDC guidelines, but for individuals who want to do this safely, then you can actually have a relatively safe 4th of July with a small group of friends and family members if you're all vaccinated. I mean, conservatives across the country, they've just never taken it seriously. Look at Florida. They've never had a mask mandate. The governor of Florida literally instituted a ban on mask mandates. So that way, if a local government wanted to institute a mask mandate, uh, it wouldn't be effective legally. They wouldn't be able to enforce that. They wouldn't be able to fine people who disobey that law. All across the country, Republicans have been pretending as if the pandemic is over. You all had an in-person CPAC as opposed to a digital one. So, I mean, you're already not abiding by the protocol. So what does Biden saying, you know, um, that if you take it seriously, you can celebrate 4th of July have to do with you. It's not even applicable to you because you already decided that the vaccine isn't something that you're going to take seriously. So so what's what's the issue here? Like, why are you fear-mongering specifically about something that is obviously innocuous? It's not like Joe Biden is saying, I'm going to stop you from doing what you want to do. You're already fucking doing that. You're already doing that. So what is the point here? He's just needlessly fear-mongering because his goal is to do propaganda against the Democratic Party because he is part of the Republican Party's propaganda arm. So for whatever reason, he has taken it upon himself to drive fear about a vaccine that is necessary to save lives and end a global pandemic. If that doesn't prove to you that Tucker Carlson is a piece of shit, then nothing else will. This is absolutely irresponsible and disgusting.